Hey everyone, it's Carly Hall, and today's tutorial will be on how to download an SVG, a scalable vector graphic, from my website and upload it to Design Space. I'm using an iPad, but this will work on any iOS device, including an iPhone. To get started, if you don't already have the application called iZip, you'll want to open the App Store and search for iZip, the letter I, and then the word zip and then click search. And then we'll download the free version of iZip. Now this application works great because it'll let us save our files in a way that we can then upload them to Design Space. It's also super useful if you're downloading files that are zipped, you can unzip them and then upload them to Design Space. So this will be a great app for you to have if you use your iPad often. You actually don't need to open the app, we can just close it out and then head over to where you're getting your file. Since we're going to get it from my blog, we'll open Safari, and then I'm, I'm on the post that I want to open. This is the little map project. It's a Michaels map, and then I made a custom file that fits on that map. So for more information on that project, you can head to the blog post in the description. So you'll see this little rectangle where it has a Michaels US map SVG cut file. To download it, you can read through the terms and conditions and then check that you agree. You'll then see this little prompt that says enter your name and your email and then click download. After that, you'll see another download button and go ahead and click that as well. That'll actually start the download and open a new tab. And you'll see that the file is right here, but we can't actually see the map. So we're going to choose open in iZip. That will open our new application and you'll then see the actual file. The only problem is if iZip sees a file that isn't actually zipped, it will add a weird extension to the end of it. In this case, a .xml. Now don't let that hang you up. I'll show you how to get rid of that. So in the upper right, click close. And then to the left of the file name, there's actually a little circle. Go ahead and click that. Now what we're going to do is choose the edit icon. And then that will pull up a new toolbar at the bottom. We'll choose rename. We'll just backspace to delete the .xml and then click OK. There will be a little bit of a warning, but don't worry, just click yes. And then now we can close out of iZip. Then we'll open Cricut Design Space and choose a new project. At the very bottom, you'll choose upload and then choose browse files. Your app should recognize that iZip is on your device and it should pull that up. But if it doesn't, under locations, choose on my iPad. Then choose iZip. Then you'll have your US Michaels map and you can select that. We'll rename it and then click done. And now it's uploaded to Design Space. So select the file and then at the very bottom right, choose Insert. The file will come in pretty big. This is a big file. So you can use your two fingers to zoom out and then you'll be able to see the entire image. I left a note since the proportions and the actual dimensions are important for this specific project. So I just want you to check to make sure it's resized properly if you're doing the metal map project. So click on the map and then on the bottom, choose edit to make sure that the dimensions match the dimensions on my image. So these match 27.6 by 17 and a half. That's perfect. And then we can delete that little note. So choose the layers panel. And then at the very top, you can actually just click on the text layer to highlight just that layer and then you can delete it by choosing the trash can icon at the bottom. Now you're left with just the map and you can edit this, resize it, change the colors, and then cut it however you'd like. So if you want to manipulate just one single state, you can select the map 
And then under actions, choose ungroup. Then for example, if I want to manipulate the California, the state of California, I can click on it and then I can choose the edit option and the color and I can change the color. I can resize it if it doesn't fit exactly how I want and I can edit it however I want. The awesome thing about SVGs is that they're in layers. So you can see that every state is its own layer and you can manipulate each one individually. So now I can cut this how, however much or however many states I wanna cut and I can use it however I want. So that's how you upload an SVG from a website to Design Space on an iOS device. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment or send me a message, I'm happy to help. And if you found this video useful, I'd love if you subscribe to my channel. All right, I'll see you in the next video.